everyone, welcome back to another video. Welcome to the most special edition of Match RV Reviews, the first ever Let's Get Ready to Rumble edition of the show, where I'm taking two units, parking them side by side so we can tour both of them and we can show you how they might look the same and be priced the same, but there is one product that is superior than the other product. I've always wanted to do this, like I've always wanted to uh, park units next to each other, but it's always been like a taboo area, gray area. So make sure you guys like this video. And the reason why I'm able to do it is because this brand is a brand that we don't sell at the dealership. We're gonna call it Competitor C, and they do a great job. They, they It's a good product and they sell it for $13,999. And so what was going on, how this all came to be was my boss was all like, hey, you should feature the Springdale. And I'm like, well, there's no way we can compete with the C competitor. And they said that we sell this unit for $13,999 and it's fully featured. So I'm like, boss, can I make a side-by-side -side comparison? Let's show, let, let's do it in a classy, way, a classy way where we can show off both units because at the end of the day, that unit's gonna be perfect for somebody. This unit's gonna be perfect for somebody. So let's get into the first ever Battle Royale and let's take a look at both competitors. So first competitor fighting out of the blue corner is a 2024 model Springdale, 25th anniversary edition. The model 1800 BH. It comes in at a length of only 21 feet, five inches. A width of eight feet. Exterior height of 10 feet, two inches. A hitch weight of 485 pounds, dry weight of 3,110 pounds. We have a 21 gallon fresh water tank, 30 gallon gray water tank, and 30 gallon black water tank. And this is an awesome entry level travel trailer with no bunk beds. Let me show everybody the inside. Really quick little tour. And then we're gonna go over all the features and benefits of both units. Bunk beds there. Burr, burr, burr. Burr, 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 burr. Burr, burr, burr. All right. And then their component, fighting out of the red corner, goes by an alias of Competitor C. Competitor C comes in at a length of also 21 feet 5 inches has an exterior height of 9 feet 2 inches, a hitch weight of 397 pounds, a dry weight of 2,960 pounds, 27 gallons of fresh water, 28 gallons of both gray and black water, and this is its competitor. It's important to note, I'm about to go over the differences in them, but both units have the selling price of 13999 so let's see if you guys will be able to spot all the differences between one versus the other. All right. And before we get into this Royal Rumble match, it doesn't matter if you like our unit or the competitor's unit, both of the competitors, both of the, both of these Mean competitors use liquefied. So inside their black tank, they're both equal in competition. With that said, there is one defined winner. So let me show you guys what features of the outside is different between both of them. Okay, first let's talk about construction. So first sidewalls, um, the Springdale 78 inches of sidewall where the competitor is only 75 inches. And you can kind of see it right here, but you can really see it on the height of it. This one does have a roof mount air conditioning unit, whereas the competitor C has a side mount air conditioning unit. There's also two inch floors, 16 inch on center. I don't know much about that, so I hate to talk about that stuff, but it does have the insulated subfloor where the other brand has no insulation. On the exterior though, this is when it gets all to all the good stuff. The Springdale has a 10 foot power awning with LED lights to where the competitor only has an eight foot awning, okay? All of these little differences is making up a few dollars here and there to help the profitability of one unit over the other. 
the Nexus Power lights under the awning. This Springdale has it to where the competitor C doesn't even have lights. Not only that, we have a nice big XL grab handle right here. Okay, right over here, you can see that the competition doesn't have that. And then on our end, we have phenomenal storage on this Springdale that goes all the way through just like this. Whereas when you look at the competitor storage, it does not have full pass-through storage at all. On the Springdale, you actually have an XL battery tray. So you're able to get two batteries on this unit where the other unit, it does not have that. And then to wrap it all up on this Springdale, we actually have an instant hot tankless water heater, the same brand that's on some of our favorite higher end travel trailers compared to the competition that doesn't have the instant hot tankless water heater at all. And these were just some of the awesome features of the outside. Let's take a look at the differences of the inside. All right, so while we go on the inside again, now that I've pointed out some of the exterior differences, let's see if you can now identify some of the interior differences just by looking at them. And again, there is no difference with what goes in their black tank because all of it is liquefied. Okay, you guys ready for this? So first and foremost is the furnace. The Springdale here at 13999 has a 20K BTU furnace. Competitor C doesn't have a furnace at all. Next is storage above the microwave. The Springdale has very nice storage above the microwave. Competitor C does not. Next is hardwood cabinets and door drawers with wood core cabinet styles. And I hate saying that because, to be honest with you, I don't know much about woodwork and everything. But you can see the nice doors here. You can see the screws that they use. And here is the drawers. Okay? Very, very nice. To the competitions, that looks just like this here. Next up is going to be the kitchen base storage. Right here we have nice storage that goes down just like this. And it's a ton of storage under the sink to where the competitor doesn't have any. Next up is the faucet. This is an upgraded single lever faucet right there. So what you see here is the competition. Okay. We have a four person wide dinette. So a bigger dinette than the competitor. I'd call the competitors two, maybe two and a half people if there's two small people there. And then with us, it's a little bit of a taller dinette with storage above the dinette right here. And if you can see our competitors, there is no storage. And when it comes to these RVs, this is the most important part. You need to be able to store some of your stuff, especially in a smaller trailer like this. Next is the bathroom. So this unit actually gives you storage, a sink, and a mirror here, where if you look at the competitors, they actually don't have a sink at all in the bathroom. Now, here's what I will say. For me, I don't need this. You know, I, I personally, I don't think you should have a sink in the bathroom. Because right here, we do have a plastic toilet. And this is not a prime poop position. And the other unit's not a prime poop position. But you do have a little bit of better space in that one because there's no sink. But you guys know my videos. I'm actually the minority. Most people do want to have a sink in their bathroom. So to each their own. Continuing on with the bathroom. On the shower, we have an actual sh shower surround, which is this plastic right here that's keeping that wallpaper from getting wet. Also, we have a sky dome here. If you look at the competition, they don't have this. It's actually only wallpaper. So every time the shower's going, you're getting the wall of your travel trailer wet, 
believe it or not, that's one of the biggest deal breakers for me. You must have a plastic insert like this. This is 50-50 because I'm short. But to have that, so all the condensation builds up on the plastic and not on the wallpaper, that's super important for me. All right, now mattresses. The Springdale comes with a seven inch mattress to where the competition is only a three inch mattress on the main bed. Now, seven inch mattress is definitely better than a three inch mattress, but all the mattresses can be upgraded with our partner RVMattress.com. But again, while you're waiting for your new mattress from RVMattress.com, I wanna sleep on something that's thicker and um, more supportive. Same with the bunk beds. So in this unit, like you love your kids, you wanna get them a three inch mattress topper where the competition is only doing a two inch mattress topper as you can see there. Also on this unit, they call this an open-ended bunk design, which I really like. I feel like you're not fully enclosed in here. I feel like it's easy to get in and out of this bunk beds where if you look at the competition, it is a little bit tighter and it's all walled off so it feels darker and it doesn't give you that open flowy feeling. Okay, three more things. So first, with the bunk beds, you have the plywood right here, which is structurally more sound and better. It's like a plywood baseboard right there. Makes the bunk beds more sturdy compared to the competitor. Talking about the AC unit, this is a Furion roof mount air conditioning unit. This is the same style of air conditioning unit that they're putting on the competition that's 30 feet, 35 feet long. Even the fifth wheels are getting this style of air conditioning unit. And then to wrap it all up over the main sleeping area, you have this side wardrobe area, which is fantastic. And something that I'm observing that I don't know if the other one has, um, I don't believe the other one has this storage above the bed here, but I'm, I'm gonna, you, you guys are seeing it on the screen here. But again, overall, here's what I wanna say, y'all. Overall, this has been such an awesome Royal Rumble. And if you ask me, when you're in that battle for $13,999, a Springdale against competitor C, it is easy to see why the Springdale is the champion with all the additional features that you're getting at the same exact price. Drop a comment down below. Let me know if you agree with me or if you disagree with me. And let me know, please, how you like the first ever Royal Rumble video when it came to when it comes to Matt's RV reviews. Again, I did it this way. Respects to that brand, they, they sell a ton of them, but I, I want people to know that this brand's the same exact price. There's two reasons for this. I want to let people know that this brand is better and you can get it for the same exact price as that competitor brand. But also, truthfully, that's number one. But also, I do want to start doing these Royal Rumble videos on brands that we sell at the same dealerships. Comparing a Grand Design first and Alliance comparing a Forest River versus a Keystone, comparing a Fleetwood versus a Thor. You know what I'm saying? I would love to do that, but the only way we're going to be able to do that is if this video performs well and um, we get positive feedback from you guys because you guys, the community, is who determines if we continue with something or if we discontinue with something. But that's it. That's the video. Thank you so much to General for setting these units back up, back to back to me. And again, if you're interested in getting a Keystone Springdale 1800BH, drop a link down, drop, click the link down below. Go to generalrv.com backslash Mads Cash. We have it linked down below and we'll be able to get you the absolute best price in America on this RV or any RV that you're looking at. Thanks so much, guys, and let's get ready to rumble!